A student produced this for UND's TV show, Studio One. On campuses all across America, college students are preparing for final exams. Many are referring to old tricks on how to prepare for this stressful time. Technology is everywhere. In every hand, there is bound to be some sort of device playing a role in every moment. But in the classroom, technology and note-taking doesn't work for every student. Students like Morgan prefer to take notes the old-fashioned way. It helps me retain the information that's given during lecture. Many professors have turned to using slideshows to help students write notes, but the effectiveness of bullet point learning is being scrutinized. Just sitting back and watching the PowerPoint and then like downloading that to your computer isn't necessarily active learning. A recent study from the Association for Psychological Science found that students who type their notes do significantly worse on questions using concept application. Devices are also subject to internet distractions, which can take away from the lectures. I'll be in the middle of reading and maybe typing up some notes on something and then bing, I get a message on email or Facebook or whatever, and then all of a sudden my train of thought is interrupted. Among those discovering this pattern is Morgan, who finds that handwriting her notes is more effective for her learning. I could remember like writing certain things down and like when it came to the test, like I could just remember it better. Morgan is not alone. Many students are more confident in learning with handwritten notes. If you're taking notes, then you're required to, you know, think through, wait, how am I making sense of this? How, what did I just hear? And with finals coming up, it's the notes that make the grade. For Studio One, I'm Jacob Noterman. Baskier says students who type their notes are also prone to typing everything verbatim, which leads to over-information. 